So firstly, selamat datang kepada semua murid-murid. Kalau ada cikgu, selamat datang kepada cikgu and also parents. So this is our final series of webinar uh, under the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, Minggu Sains Negara, which is brought to you by Maranti Makers Lab. Okay, Minggu Science program ada banyak. Okay, I think you may have participated. So there's a lot of program still going on. But what we are doing with Maranti Makers Lab is today will be the final one. Okay, so previously we had a webinar on the AR, okay, augmented reality, develop content development. Then we had 3D design, and today we are doing the final one on um, what they call game and animation design. Okay, now Mingu Science Negara, the main purpose is to encourage more students to be interested in science, technology, innovation. Right, so Murid uh, Murid, I hope you will be interested and then you can participate in more programs, you can get more certificate, more recognition, get more awards and you'll do very well in your studies as well. Okay, so that is the purpose of promoting um, STEM through Minggu Science Negara. Okay, so now I'd like to welcome Mr. Uh, Mr. Tan. So, Mr. Tan, maybe you can introduce yourself and a little bit about uh, Code Kids so that, uh, you know, our participants will know what uh, you do and also what Code Kid does so that in future, if there's any program, we can continue to participate. All right. Mm. Uh, over okay. to you, Mr. Tan. Mm. Okay. So, hello, everyone. So, I am Mr. Tan. So, I am one of the master trainer from Cookies. So, actually, Cookies uh, is providing uh, a lot of the course that is related with the programming and also the game developing. Uh, so, usually, we learn about the coding thing and also how to uh, develop a game. Uh, this is the course that we offer. So, and I am, so I am the master trainer that uh, there is master the master the robot studio so today i will going to teach you about the robot studio uh, about the basic operation of the robot studio and also some of the fundamental concept and also some of the interesting event in the robot studio uh, like this all right um, that's that's good that's nice um all right so today's program you you want to start by share i mean by introducing the uh, roblox studio mm, yes so the robot studio actually is a platform for us to create a roblox game uh, so i believe that most of you have played a roblox game am i right you can share your you, if I can, since there's not many, if you want to answer, you can also turn your mic on to answer. Okay, don't be mm. shy. Okay. Yep. Yes. Yes. Uh, so now I will going to share this. Okay. Let me see. Ah, huh? I think I will just share my screen. Okay. So let me see. Okay, can you all see the robot studio here? Okay, can I? So, so actually this is the robot studio platform. So this platform is for us to uh, create a robot gamer by using the robot studio. Uh, robot studio uh, is different with the robot. Uh, robot is the game for you to play. Uh, robot is the game for you to play. Well, the robot studio is for you to create your own game. Uh, so now, okay, before I start the before I start the start the class, then let me ask a question. So, have you all installed the robot studio in computer? Yes. Yes. No need to pay or no, or uh, is totally free. No need to pay anything. Uh, you just need to learn how to uh, how to develop the game. Then you already then you can publish your own game. Uh, the platform is all free. In Android and in Android, I guess cannot. 
I'm using Clip. Okay, so okay, so the Roblox Studio. Okay, for the Roblox Studio, right? Uh, so let me see how many students have Roblox Studio and how many students doesn't have the Roblox Studio. Uh. So let me maybe maybe write down something. Okay. So okay, if you already install the Roblox Studio, so enter one in the chat. So the two means haven't uh, haven't installed yet. So let me know how many students already installed and how many students haven't installed. One, two, two, one, two, two, two. Okay. So how about others? The rest of students? The rest of participants? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm downloading. Okay, so give me some, give me some time. Huh? So in that case, I think I will share one link. So let me see. Think. Show link. So wait for where well, I checking my data. Hmm. Should be here. Okay, so for those who haven't installed yet, so now I can share you one link. Okay, so this is the link to guide you how to install the Robot Studio in your in your computer. Okay, so this one you can follow the step to make it. So it seems that most of the people haven't installed it yet. Okay, so I think it's okay. So I think later on you all, uh, for those who haven't installed yet, I think later uh, we go to the practical section, then you only download the things. Uh, no need to waste our time. Is that okay? Okay, so let me see here. Uh, see if it's going to here. Okay, so for those who already installed the Robot Studio, so you can open your Robot Studio and then you can see the template, a lot of the template here. Okay, so this is the, uh, for this one, we will choose the first template, the base break template. So when you click it, after we click it, we just wait a while. It will loading the platform. So you will supposed to see this is the spawn location. Okay, the spawn location here. This is a spawn location. And then, uh, so this is the, our game environment. Okay, so this one, the first thing. Okay, let me teach you the first thing. Huh? So first is uh, the top here. Okay, can you see the top here? The top here is the menu bar. Okay, so the menu bar will provide us a lot of the basic function in the robot studio. Uh, so with the six label, home model avatar test view plugin so but we will today we will only use the first one only lah. okay so the first label the home label so it consists of the few basic but the most important function in the robot studio uh, we will usually we will keep using all this function okay this is the menu bar so and then if we go to here okay here is the camera so you can see this is the camera. So how to move your camera? So you can use the W, W, W to zoom in, to zoom in your camera. And then the S, S, P, U, S to zoom out your camera. So you will be far and far. And then the A and D is used to go to left and go to right hand side. Okay. And then we still got another two key, the Q or Q and the Q means down the camera 
and E is to raise the camera. Okay, so Q W E A S D the keyboard the Q W E A S D key on keyboard is used to move your camera. Okay, so we still got another method to to move your camera. So okay, just now is talking about how to move the camera. So if you want to rotate the camera, so you need to hold the right button of your mouse and then you just move your mouse so you can rotate your camera ah, okay so you can just hold the right button of your mouse and then you move your mouse so that you can rotate your camera ah, so we move camera we use keyboard and then we'll rotate the camera we use the right button of the mouse So anyone cannot anyone cannot follow it. So now I will give you one minute. Okay, you can try to move and rotate your camera by using your key and also your mouse for those who already installed the robot studio. So one minute start. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. So I'm here to assist you. Thirty more seconds to try to move and rotate your camera by using keyboard and your mouse. Okay, so time's up. So, okay, so let's proceed to the next thing. Okay, so now, okay, let me confirm one thing. So, okay, go to see the left hand side. So, I think I believe that you will see something called toolbox at the left hand side. So, anyone, so anyone cannot see the toolbox at the left hand side, please let me know. Okay, so let's say in case you cannot, let's say you cannot find the toolbox at the left hand side, you can go to menu bar, the toolbox button, you just click and the toolbox will come up. Okay, so the two, so what is the, so what, so what is toolbox? Okay, actually toolbox is for, is provide a lot of things for us. So it means that someone creates something and then publish into the toolbox for us. To use uh, for example for example so the toolbox here got a lot of label model plug in audio image okay so we go to model means we are looking for model so let's say i want to find a car so i will enter the keyword and here and here car and then enter so it will give us the result okay so here we'll only okay here it will show the result that is related with the car Okay, so the car, we go to see one by one, uh, the car, a lot of the car here. So if we try to see this car, okay. So let's say I want the, this, I want this car, so I just click it. And then the car will be, uh, will be up here at the middle of your camera. Uh, so you can, okay, now I will show demo to you, okay. So as you can see, all the thing that you add, in the game so it will be it will be at at the middle of your camera at the middle of your camera so not only the car so we can find other things uh, for example the restaurant as well 
uh, the restaurant, uh, McDonald, Pizza Hut, uh, Burger King, uh, all this model is created by others. Uh, others create the things uh, and then uh, for us to use. So very simple. So we can just go to, okay, so the restaurant, click, and then the restaurant will be up here in game. So we can move our camera uh, to see uh, to see the uh, to see the entire restaurant and then maybe we can go inside to see if anything inside the restaurant okay so this is how we find something from toolbox uh, and then add it into the game uh, so the one thing need to concern is okay make sure if you want to add something in your game right so make sure the middle of the camera is base plate uh, so if you want to add anything into your game make sure the middle of the camera uh, is base plate uh, means you have a land uh, the middle of the camera is land uh, so otherwise so let's say i try to demo uh, so let's say okay now i move my camera so that the middle here is the sky. So what will be happen? Okay, so this will happen. No? Uh, so means the thing will be placed in the sky. Uh, okay, so means the camera, the camera should be, uh, the camera should be point, should be pointed at the ground, uh, not at the, not in the sky. Uh, if you want to put your thing on the land. And so far, any questions for the toolbox and how to add something inside the game? Don't hesitate to ask if you have any questions or you don't understand anything. Or maybe you have something to share with me. Uh, you have some idea you want to share with me. It's also can You also can share with me as well. Okay, yeah, so okay, so now let me see. Uh. Okay, so then we will proceed to the next thing, and then I will go into give you the first question. Ah, uh, okay. So now let's proceed to the thing. Okay, so maybe you will have a question. Okay, now I already place my thing, place the model in the in the game, but what if I want to move the thing or resize the thing or rotate the thing, rotate the thing. So how sh how I supposed to do? Okay, so now I will go in to teach you the to teach you the method. Okay, so let's say okay, this restaurant. Okay, so this restaurant I want to move to here, move to the right. So what should I do? You have two method. Uh, so listen carefully. Uh, here. The thing that I'm going to explain is related with the first question that I'm going to ask later. Okay, so to move the thing, you have two methods. First is you just click the click the object and then you just uh, drag it into the place that you want to move. Okay, so this is the first method to move the thing. Okay, so the second method is we can use this kind of method. First, we click it. And then we go to menu bar. Here got one function called move function. Okay, here is the move function. After we click it, then you suppose can see there is a six arrow around around the center of the object. So you just choose either one of the arrow and then you just drag so that you can move your thing as well. Uh, so by using the move function by using the move function to move your thing uh, you can even move your thing in the sky uh, so we can okay so let's see the okay let's see the thing uh, if we just use the mouse to move the thing uh, actually we cannot move it move the thing in the sky uh, but by using the move function and use the green 
green arrow to drag it, we will be able to move it in the sky. Uh, so this is the move function. Okay. And then next, okay, let me see. Uh. Okay, here it's got one thing called select. Okay, so let me see one by one first. Uh. Okay. Collisions. Okay, so we go to see one by one. Okay, select. Okay, the select here, the select button means you want to select something by mouse pointer or not. Okay, so you click it, then you will be able to select thing by click it. Uh, so, but if you don't want this, don't want the select function, you can click the select button. Uh, after this, I will not be able to select the thing by clicking, uh, by click it. Uh, so this is the differences, the select. Uh, the select means you want to use your mouse pointer to select your, to select the object in game or no. Okay. So next is about the scale. The scale means we need to, scale is used to resize the thing. So very simple. Click the thing that you want to resize and then click the scale. So there is a six dot around the center. Uh, you just choose one of the, uh, choose one of the dot. Uh, and then you just uh, resize it uh, to resize the thing. So the spawn location also can resize as well. Click it, choose scale, and then so I can uh, make my spawn location bigger. So this is a scale. Okay, so this is a scale function. And then next is about the rotate function. Okay, rotate function means we want to rotate the object. We want to rotate something. Very simple. We just click the thing that we want to rotate. And then we click the rotate button. Then you will see the three circles around the center. You just choose one of the circle to rotate the thing. Uh, so this is how we rotate the things. Okay, so okay, so this is the things. Okay, so this is the select, move, scale, and rotate the four functions here. Okay, and then next is about the delete thing. Okay, the delete thing. So about how to delete the thing. Okay, very simple as well. We click the thing that we want to delete. Right click. Okay, it will offer a lot of options. You just choose delete. Okay, so we can delete the unwanted thing. Okay, so now, so I think that's all for, I think that's all for this part. So, so far, any questions? No, don't be shy. Lah. <laughs> if you have something to share, you also can share your idea with me as well. Yeah, please feel free yeah, because not many people. So if you want to um, just ask a question, you can ask question uh, through the mic or in the chat as well. Uh, yes. So you can ask the question. Uh, you can type your, you can enter your question in the meeting chat as well. Uh, if you don't want to tell me verbally. Okay, so now, okay, so I guess that now is the time for me to put a first question. Okay, so now the first question. So the first question. Okay, so the first question is, so we have two methods. Okay, we have two methods to move our thing, to move the, to move the thing. First is by uh, just drag it. Uh, First method is just drag it to move the thing. This is the first method. 
And the second method is by using the move function to move the thing. Okay, so the first question is which one is more, which one is better to move the thing? The first one, you just use your mouse to move, or the second one, you use the move function to move your thing. Okay, so let me see. So now, okay. Move button, the second one, just drag it, second, or drag. Okay, so now we have a first winner right here. Okay, so let me record the name. Okay, the first winner of today. Okay, so the first winner. Congrats to the first winner. So the first question is already done. So we still have another two questions later. So uh, don't let the chance go over for free. So we still have another two if okay. So but this is letter. Lah. Okay, letter on. Okay, so now we will proceed to the practical section. Okay, for those who already installed the robot studio, okay, now you can try to, okay, you can try to add at least five models in game and use the move, scale, rotate, and delete function uh, to arrange your model accordingly. So maybe I write down, maybe I write down the, write down the, write down the exercise here. Okay, so. Now we will proceed to the practical section, huh? exercise section, exercise section. Okay. So let me see exercise sections. Okay. Exercise sections. Okay. Try to add at least five models in game and use a uh, move scale rotate and delete function to arrange them accordingly in game okay so this is the practical section so this one i will give you all about maybe five minutes five minutes to complete the, this practical section this exercise section is the preparation for the ob game letter so because we learn something, we must learn from the very basic first. After we master the basic thing, then we can go further. So you can, maybe you can share your screen. So you can share your screen for the exercise section so that you can show, you can show others what you plan to do, what you're going to do. Okay, so I start to count the time now. You have five minutes to try it. So try to find any kind of model that you are interested, that you like, uh, put it in your game, and then you use the move, scale, rotate uh, to, uh, to decorate accordingly. Uh. So maybe I can give a simple example. Huh? So the simple example is, so I want to create a small city. So the small city we suppose have, what? Okay, maybe we must have a restaurant. We must have a restaurant. So I just add one restaurant in the, in the game. Okay, so next for the city. So we must have a path to let the car to move around so we can looking for the way so the road ah, the road here okay so we can just do like this so move it and then we can select another thing to combine so you just uh, place it make it stick together and then i can use the road turn Okay, so now I use the rotate function uh, to rotate the thing. 
and then move it to somewhere. Uh, move it to here uh, to stick the thing together. Uh, and then we can, uh, another thing is we can add a garden. Okay, so you can choose the garden that you want. Or maybe I choose the grass. Hmm, I think this one not that suitable. Okay, and then for the restaurant, so we can go to C, try to see the restaurant, the restaurant inside. There's a restaurant inside here. So we can try to add a walker. Okay, walker. We can try to add some walker. So any kind of worker, the cafe worker, for example, the cafe worker. Oh, okay, cafe worker. And then we can, okay, maybe this one I use another one. Okay, the store worker, maybe the store worker. I put the store worker inside the inside the restaurant. Mm, where is the door? Okay, the door is at here. So wait, where is the door? Oh, the door is at here. So maybe I can put my walker uh, behind the behind the something like a counter. Okay, so to make the thing interest to make the thing look more realistic. And then I can do okay like this off, and then I can make a our oh, steel lamp. Find some steel lamp. Okay. And place it along the along the road. Okay, so this is the sample. This is the possible thing you can do. Uh, so I hope that this one, so I hope that after I demo it, you have some idea about the exercise so you just try to add at least five or more than uh, at least five or more than five models in game uh, and then you just use the move scale rotate and delete uh, to arrange it accordingly in your game Okay, so you may start now. So I will give you five minutes to do it until the until fifteen forty one. So feel free to share your screen in the exercise sections. If you have any question, feel free to ask me as well. Silent. Okay, so we will proceed to the next section after after four more minutes.
So let me see. Okay, so for those who haven't installed the robot studio, you can install now. And if you face any issue about the installation of robot studio, you can ask me as well. So since that we only learn something, we only we only can learn something when we uh when we try to do something. I can't install. My storage is full. Oh, sad to hear it. Okay, so the recording is still ongoing. No problem. Okay, so one more minute for the exercise, for the practical sections. So anyone want to share? Want to share her, student want to share? Want to share their screen? To show us what you did? Excuse me. Okay, give me some time, huh? just a second. Mm, yes, sure, you can share your screen. Oh, someone is using phone, so cannot share screen. It's okay. So it's okay for those who cannot uh, cannot follow me to uh, to do the exercise. So you may you may watch the recording after these sections. Yes, feel free to share your screen. Do you know how to share your screen? Okay, so let me do something. Ah, uh, share screen.
Okay, so for how to share the screen, you can, oh, okay, I can't upload a picture in a meeting chat. Oh, it's okay. Hmm. Yes, you can share your screen. Sure, you can share your screen now. Okay, so let's see. Hmm, okay. So this is the McDonald's restaurant. So with the parking place and also the McDonald's icon. Okay, so and then this is the Play Store. Oh, okay. MC Cafe Play Place. Okay, oh so this is the playground inside the restaurant. Okay, so very good. Good designation. So because if you're talking about the restaurant, we must have a parking place. Uh, if without parking place, it will be difficult for us. Uh, it means that we need to uh, find, find another place to uh, to park our car. Uh, so it will make some, uh, it, will, it, it will cause trouble. Okay, so we can add a parking place uh, beside the beside the restaurant. Uh, okay, so thank you for sharing. So others, anyone want to share? Me, but I use my camera. Okay, can. Hmm, okay, so you add some car, you add some car in the way, and also the some building, uh, other than restaurants, you have another buildings, the few buildings, including the playground. Hmm. Okay, very good, thank you for sharing. Okay, so I think that's all for this section. So let's proceed to the next part. Okay, so let me see one thing first. Huh? Okay. Mm. Okay, so now let's proceed to the next part. We will going to see how to, okay, do this one, sharing things. Okay. Okay, so let me delete all this stuff first. So this is the undo button. Uh, this is the redo button. Undo means that you don't want to do something that you did just now. You can just press undo. Uh, like you move the thing to here, uh, but suddenly you think, oh, I don't want to put it here anymore. You just put undo. Uh, so to undo your thing. Or, or suddenly you say, oh, I want, uh, yes, I want to move it to left. 
Okay, then we can use redo, undo, redo, undo, redo. Okay, so next is about, okay, next is about the part. Okay, so we can go to the menu bar, the top of the robot studio. The menu bar here called, uh, got one but have one button called part. Okay, part. Okay, so for the part here, okay, we can see the small arrow uh, at the bottom. Uh, we can see, uh, we can find the small arrow under the part button. We try to click the small arrow here. Okay, so it will provide us five part. Okay, five different types of part. Block, ball, which corner which and cylinder so let's see one by one okay so the block is a square the block is a square uh well the ball ball is ball okay and then which okay which is something like this okay which is something like this okay so and then the corner which is like this uh, usually we use corner which to do the pyramid and then the cylinder uh, so this is the total of five different parts in the Roblox Studio. The five different parts here. So let me check one by one. I think here should be okay. Okay, so this is the things. A total of five different parts. Why here still got on? Okay, never mind. Okay, so also the same thing for the part, right? Okay, so we see uh, for the part, example, the block. Okay, for the block, we also can use the move function to move it, uh, rotate it, and also scale it, resize it. Uh, but, different, uh, but, different with how, but different with resizing the model, if we try to resize the part by using scale, uh, you can just adjust either length width and height alone uh, means that oh, i want to adjust i only want to make it make it higher uh, so you just change the height of the part huh? so i say I, I want to only adjust the width of the object then you just uh here we only adjust the width uh, and also the length uh, length width uh, this one i believe that you all can understand uh, this thing okay so and then about the this thing Okay, so the part is the okay part is usually be used to create a OB game. So, but before this, we need to do learn a bit the decoration first. Uh. So let me just see the thing. Uh. Okay, so how to change the color? Because here the color is something like a white color. So to change the color, first you click the part. Next. You choose the color, uh, the color button. You click the arrow, the arrow under the color button. And then you just choose the color that you want. Choose the color that you want. Yeah, so this one is how to change the color. And about how to change the material, you can click the material manager here. And then you can see a lot of the material here for you to choose. Uh, for example, I want it become a wood, the material. I want the material to be wood. So just choose the wood. Uh, just choose the wood. Uh, you click this button. Okay, and then you will see uh, the surface. Uh, the surface looks like the wood. And then I change a bit the color. So it will become a totally wood. Okay, so we still have another material. So to create a light, uh, to create a simple light in game, so we can choose the light color, choose the light color, and then we choose one material called no material. The new material is the sim is the most simplest light in the game. Okay, the new material means you make it become a light. Uh, but make sure you choose the light color don't choose the black color lah. so if you choose the black color uh, nothing will be happen uh, because the light must be uh, you must use the light color for the light uh, like this okay so you can choose the material 
and then okay so by using this actually we can do a lot of things so something like uh, okay let me give an example huh? okay so maybe i can use a part to okay use a witch to create a to create a path to go up for us to go up so okay like this okay make it like this okay, so we link it here stick together with the spawn location and then we can go to change the material uh, click one time to call the material manager come up uh, for this i think i want the stone material maybe i need the stone material so the stone material cobblestone or brick so i choose brick material click the button so it will become the uh, brick so and then i change the color okay so something like this and then after this i can create a platform i can create a part this okay so let's see at uh, this time i think i will use the wood material okay. looking for the wood material Okay, wood material. Okay, apply it. So, okay, so as you can see, I will need to move my camera and rotate my camera to ensure uh, to double confirm the position of the part. Okay. So, and then we do the last modifications change the size okay so this one uh let me see ah uh, like this okay so this is the very very simple ob uh, by using the part uh, usually we will use part uh, we will use part as a part of the OB game okay so let's try okay you will see one problem okay so, so actually to test your game so you can find the play button here okay the play button here here is the play button for us to test your game to test your game okay so we test okay after uh the loading is com after the loading complete uh you can uh you can find that your character uh the, the new character uh yourself will be in game as well uh to move your character use the wasd to move and then space key to jump it uh, space key to jump it uh, WASD to work in game. Okay, so now it's time to have a second question. Okay, so now we see carefully. Uh, okay, just now I create the two things uh, because I want the character to jump, uh, to jump away, jump away. But now, okay, now the question. Okay, now is the second question okay so my question is why the two blocks fall down fall on the land okay so the second question okay, the question is why okay why this block fall down fall on the land 
because there is no support for the blocks. Mm -hmm. Almost correct. Uh, now I am asking for the reason why it fall down. The reason of fall down is okay. So maybe let me demo again. So now okay, try to see where is the. Okay, now try to see where is the block. The true block is. Uh, the true block is in here. Okay, the true box. Ah, uh, because of. Because of gravity. Okay, yes, correct. Congrats. Okay, so this is the second winner of today. Okay, great. We got two winners already. Yeah. Now, um, you all, you want to? Uh, I'm here at the Maker's Lab. Do you want me to show you what Maker's Lab is? Okay, Mr. Tan, if you can just uh, hold on for a while, I will introduce you. Uh, and our participants to our Makers Lab. Bole. Uh, bole, bole. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, uh, say hi to our team here. All right. Say hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Say hi. Hello. Hi. So, hello. this is our Makers Lab. Uh, and uh, so, we hope in future, all of you are following in the webinar, you can come to our Makers Lab. i just show you around. So, what we do here, we got 3D printer, we help to build prototypes. So if any of you have got any of your STEM project, you can actually come over here. Right. So if you can see, we've got a very interesting Oculus. Say hi here, right? Okay, so that is just to uh, let you uh, have a glimpse, uh, make a slap guitar. Right, so I pass back to Mr. Tan, and uh, so how long more, Mr. Tan? We have hmm? uh, how many minutes more? Uh, we still have one more hours. Uh, if you need to shorten it, also can because um, usually about up to four thirty pun okay. Then we will launch the competition uh, to to say that those who have joined can actually participate in the competition. Yeah, oh. so be another half an hour, boleh. Mm, okay, can means I finish it in the half an hour. Sir. Ah, okay. So we try mm. to finish it half an hour's time. Yeah. Mm, okay, no problem. Okay, thank you. Let's continue. Okay, so let's continue. Ah, huh? okay. So let me see things. Okay, so screen sharing. Okay, so the screen sharing. Okay, so yes. So actually. For the robot studio, actually have a gravity. Uh, means all the thing in the sky will be fall down because of the gravity. Uh, so this is same as the reality. Uh, but the problem is we have, but the one problem is we need to, uh, the one problem is this is the game, right? So this is the game. Actually, this is not the reality. Uh, Sometimes, yes, if we create a game, we must refer the reality but not all my right so what if i want to make the block can stay in the skies then what i supposed to do so here i will introduce you the one more function called anchor anchor means you lock the position of the thing so very simple first okay so use your mouse but okay okay just select the things you want to lock uh, just select the thing that you want to lock, that you want to lock its position, and then you click anchor button. Uh, the anchor button, you click one time. Okay, so now as you can see, this block, this block, I already anchor it. Well, the second block here, I have an anchor. anchor. So what will be happen if you try the game? So yes, you will see that since that the first part I already anchor, so it won't fall down anymore well the second part uh, since that i haven't anchored it means it will fall down because of the gravity okay so any questions so far for the part about how to create a part how to change the color and material of the part. 
how to test the game and also how to anchor uh, the anchor function. Any questions, feel free to ask. So no response, I will assume that you all can follow and understand the concept. Okay, so if like this, then I will show you another, the most important thing, which is the last section of the of the of today workshop okay so let me see uh, okay so the first thing okay in order to create an ob game right so me we we must do something that can appear and disappear okay for example okay i will write some coding i will write some script some coding to make the block here okay to make the block here can disappear and appear uh, sometimes it will appear sometimes it will disappear ah so how i do it so actually now you can see how i do the thing huh? so first you need to click the thing okay and then we go to see the explorer ah yeah the explorer the one more thing the explorer so the explorer here is for us to manage all the thing in the game ah here is to manage all the thing in game okay so if we try to click something ah Okay, some okay, some of okay, if we try to create something in the robot studio in your game, uh, so at the same time, something in the explorer will become blue background. Okay, so means that what okay means that what I am selecting now is this thing. Okay, so because I want to make this thing appear and disappear, so I need to add a script inside the part. So how to add? Okay, we just stop our mouse pointer on the name of the object so you can see you can see the plus icon appear beside the name we click it and then we search for object we search for what we search for script and then we click it so i also after i click a script will be at in the part okay so this is a script uh, so it means that we need to write some coding so we will say that okay local block equal to script dot parent okay so the first thing is we need to find the object that we want to make it appear and disappear so we will use script dot parent to find the part that we are looking for and then we give it a temporary name as block so it means that start from now I give it a nickname as block. Uh, means next time if I want to call the part, I will use the block to call uh, to call it. Okay, and then we will do this kind of thing. Block dot transparency equal to one. Okay, and then we wait for three sec. We wait for uh, maybe we wait for. Okay, let me see. Uh, Okay, after we search for the thing, we already give a nickname for the part. So maybe I wait for 10 seconds first, and then I change the transparency of the block become one. Uh, what does it mean for a transparency? Transparency is to make the thing no longer can be seen, uh, means invisible. Transparency is to set something is visible or invisible. Uh, Block dot transparency equal to one means we make the thing become we make the thing visible, and then we wait for another five seconds, and then we change the transparency equal to zero. Transparency equal to one means we hide the thing. Transparency equal to zero means we show the thing. Okay, so let's see. Okay, let's retry the thing okay so now we see uh, okay so now the thing is uh, here uh, after 10 seconds it will disappear and then another five seconds with another five more seconds it will appear again uh, so this is the coding uh, so by using the coding we can definitely uh, do this thing uh, so let's try if i can jump okay if cannot means i have to adjust a bit the positions Okay, so now let's try to see another thing. 
Okay, so now you see, huh? Okay, now I'm stand, uh, I'm standing on it. Okay, now, okay, as you can see, even the thing disappear, actually, it seems that I still stand on it. Why? This is because the transparency is just to hide or show the thing on it. Uh, it won't make your thing totally disappear. Okay, so to make the thing totally disappear, so we need to change one more properties called can call it. Uh, this is the properties. The transparency is the properties. Uh, this is the second properties called can call it. Uh, so to make the thing looks like totally disappear, we need to change another properties called can call it and then make it become false. Can call it means you can touch the thing or not. Can call it equal to false means you can't touch it anymore. Because transparency equal to one, make it invisible. Right? So if we make the thing invisible, then we're supposed to set the can call light become false uh, so that it won't be touched by player anymore. Uh, and if we set the transparency equal to zero, means we already show the thing. So we should allow others can touch the block by set by change the can call light become true again okay so let's see the things okay so now the can collide through transparency zero okay after 10 seconds it will disappear at the same time since that can collide become false it will make me it will make us fall down and then after it come back so we can see if can if we still can stand on it yes we can still on it so this is the formula uh, and then maybe we have one thing. Okay, so how to make it repeat forever? Uh, yes, I want it appear and disappear, but what if I want to make it forever? If we want to make it forever, we need to write like this, well to do. And then, okay, the well to do is a box for us to repeat our coding. Uh, we just move our coding, move the coding that we want to repeat forever inside the well to do uh, and then we can adjust a bit the timing maybe uh, so actually the coding will be run line by line uh, means it will run the line number six wait for three seconds means do nothing first after the three second it will go to the next line the line number seven it will change the transparency of the block and then go to the next line uh, this is the format okay so you can see now it will appear and disappear and it will repeat forever okay so it will like this okay so like this also this is the uh, so this is the block that we usually uh, it will usually be used in the OB game uh, to make the player fall down uh, if the part disappears. So means that player have to uh, confirm the good timing to go over, to go over it. Okay, this one I will give you, uh, this one I will give you the picture to see later. So any questions so far? Or any idea you want to share with me before I show you the killing block, the block that can kill player. No respond. Okay, so if no respond, then we can go to the next part. Okay, so the next part is about the killing, the killing block. Okay, so maybe let me do some kind of thing. Huh? Okay, this one, I just duplicate it. Okay, and then delete the script inside. Okay, and then I go to. Okay, I make a pouch with this color. Okay, so now I'm going to create a, create a Q block in the Roblox Studio. Ah. 
Okay, so let's see the thing. Huh? Okay, so the last thing is the Q block. The Q block is okay. So assume that now I want to create a Q block at here. So same. Uh, this time I will use the cylinder to make it change the color become the red color and then resize it accordingly. Anchor it to lock the positions. So this is a preparation. Huh? So this is a Q block. Okay, and then like this. Okay, so this one, okay, I want to make a function like this. When I touch it, it will kill the player. Okay, so now, okay, so this is the thing we can do is, so, okay, locker Q block equal to skip dot parent. Uh, skip dot parent means we find, we find the, we find this and then give it a nickname as Q block. Okay, and then next is, okay, locker function Q player like this. Okay, and then we will say, uh, Q block touch or net to Q player. Okay, like this, and then we will going to do this kind of thing object, and then we will say object dot parent parent dot humanoid dot health equal to zero. Uh, so this is the coding. So this is the coding for the Q block. So let's retry the things. All right, so we have to wait it up here and then we go here fast. Okay, so now we try to see if we touch it, uh, it will make your player die. Uh, so this is the Q block. Okay, this is the Q block. Uh, it will make the player die instantly. Uh, need to be fast. And then for this, for sure, we need to jump over it. Uh, to avoid it, Q us. Okay, so let's we see. Okay, so I'm going to uh, come out the last questions of today. So who will be the last winner? Okay, so let's we see. Uh, okay, so only the last winner. Uh, we only have one more winner for today. Okay, so let's see. Okay, here I got two script. The first script, this is the first coding, and then the second coding. So my question is, which one? is used to kill player the first one and the or the second one the first one or the second one is used to kill player kill player this is the first one this is the and then this is a second one which one is used to kill player okay so let's see ah uh. Yes, we have the final winner. Okay, congrats for the final winner. So the answer is first one. Uh, the answer is first one. Uh, this one you need to listen on the, uh, this one you need to listen on the keyword, uh, on the keyword just now. Uh, because just now I show this is the first one and then this is the second one. Okay, so congrats for the last winner. So let me record the name. Okay, so here is the three winner. So let me, okay, let me announce the three winner here. So here is the three winner for today. Three winner for today. Okay, congrats.
Okay, congratulations. Eh? So we've got all three winners, uh, Mr. Tan. Mm, yes, Mr. Ramis. Okay, great, mm. great. So this is just the pop quiz. Eh? Um, now, have we come to an end of the session, Mr. Tan? Mm? Have we completed uh, today's session or is there any more? Mm, I think for the teaching part is that's all for the teaching part. So okay. do we do we need give them some time to do something? Um, okay, exercise, I think it may take some time. Uh, what mm. we will do is we will um, share uh, the link, you know, uh, to our uh, YouTube channel. Mm. And also we will share the, the, what you call the competition, right? Uh, mm. Mr. Tan, uh, uh, do you have any information on the competition? Mm, no. Not yet. Yeah? All right. Mm. So I'll tell you what. What we will do, we have got the, what you call the email of all our participants today. Those mm. who are not uh, put in your emails, can you please uh, put in your emails in the chat? And uh, we will send you the link for the competition. Right. So based on what you learned today, or even maybe yesterday, maybe some of you have, we'll come up with a very simple competition in which you can use the the information uh, on roblox or yesterday's one was with regards to uh, minecraft education so one of these will be used for the competition and you can submit your entries by the 31st of august yeah so i think uh, um, that will be what we will do just stay tuned uh, priscilla is there something anything you want to to mention uh, nothing else but the winners please send in your full name contact number and email address all right so should they send it to you uh, they can send it in the chat group okay all right so you can share in the chat group and miss uh, priscilla will uh, take the contacts from there we'll email to you and uh, all the other participants, you will receive your uh, certificate of participation for Mingu Science Nagara. Right? Uh, any queries from our participants? I have one question. What the okay? What okay? What the student will do for the competition? They will build a house or what? Ah, uh, that's what I I need the information. Uh, Iwan is working on it, so I think Iwan will discuss with you. Uh, and then she'll come up with the thing. So uh, probably Iwan has uh, is still working on it. By tomorrow, we'll come up with it. No worries. Mm, okay, can okay. no problem. You, you can just check with Iwan. Uh, what will be the competition uh, rules regulation? Simple, a very simple one. So I think by tomorrow we can have it ready. Mm. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. So, uh, if there is no questions from our participants, I'd like to thank all of you. And on behalf of Mingu Science Nagara and Maranti Makers Lab, thank you for your participation. And we look forward to your um, joining the contest. Yep. Okay. So, with that, I'm going to sign off. And I'll just show you a glimpse of our Maranti Makers Lab. But since I am here, just look at what we have here. Right? So this is our stu students from many other institutions. Uh, in fact, they are from the Islamic International Islamic College. They've come here for a program. Okay? So we also hope one day you will be able to come and join us in some of the programs that are organized at Maranti Makers Lab. Right? Okay, guys, thank you so much, and uh, we will sign off now, yeah?